Thank you. It is 6.02 here. It's been one week since Leticia Martinez disappeared. Her loved ones telling Fox 13 that she always stayed in contact with them on a regular basis. So not hearing from her has been agonizing. We are expecting to learn, meanwhile, a lot more about her disappearance later today. A 46-year-old man arrested in connection with this expected to appear in court, and that means that we will learn from court documents why he was arrested. So joining us now live from T-Mobile Park is Dan Griffin. So Dan, walk us through what we know about this right now. Well, good morning to you, Bill. You know, this is a heartbreaking and mind-blowing case, considering that this woman was here at T-Mobile Park enjoying a game, happy, smiling, and then she vanished. We're hoping to learn more from investigators today about this. And, of course, we are talking about 58-year-old Leticia Martinez here. So she was last seen in the Diamond Club seats here at the March 31st Mariners night game with this man at T-Mobile Park. Leticia has not been in contact with her family since, as you mentioned, and police told us they've interviewed the man in that photo sent to a loved one. Well, we've learned the pair met at Costco in early March. They'd attended a ball game together before. This Wednesday, Seattle police posted that alert that Leticia was missing. Now, we now know 46-year-old man named Brett Gitchell was arrested just yesterday in connection with her disappearance. He's locked up in the King County Jail for investigation of murder, kidnapping, theft, and assault. And he was uh, has a record before this. Now, Leticia's family believes that Gitchell is the man in the photo at the game. We've also learned that SPD recovered a car linked to Gitchell or Martinez. Still, detectives have been tight-lipped in this case. They haven't told Fox 13 News how they've linked him to the case or why he's been booked for investigation of murder. But we know another woman tells us she saw both of them at two games. There's Ben. Um, she um, would go to the games every, every year and she'd have um, the seats where she'd always be um, through her company. They, they would provide them their place tickets and stuff, which is really nice. So yes, she was, and she'd always take me and my wife or friends, you know, close family or just friends in general. And um, you know. Matthew said, and that's her brother there. This story only gets more complicated and weird, according to Fox News. Sources close to the family say that her son was lured from home over the weekend by a man, then allegedly beaten before he was able to escape into the woods. Renton police confirmed they found her son alone coming out of the woods and brought him to safety. So was this a date gone wrong? Well, that is just not clear at this point. What we know is police have said that Martinez is described as having green eyes and brown hair, about five feet, nine inches tall, weighing about one 135 pounds. Another thing her family says her smile is unmistakable as you could see in that photo of her happy right here at T-Mobile Park just a week ago. Now the family and the community standing by waiting for answers and of course we're going to keep you updated on this case as we learn new information. For now we're live here at T-Mobile Park. Dan Griffin, Fox 13 News.